7 o'clock, we had Army, which went 9-4 and four last year. Traveling to Coastal Carolina, which went 11-2. and two. Coastal Carolina favored by 2 points on ESPN+. Plus. And Tyser Tyler, uh, the quarterback for Army, went 3-7 last year. Threw for 79 yards, 1 touchdown, 1 interception for 42.9% for the completion percentage. Tyrell Robinson had 72 carries for 609 yards and 3 touchdowns. And Isaiah Alston had 22 catches for 449 yards. And, um, uh, sorry, uh, two, 22 catches for 449 yards at three touchdowns. Grayson McCall is being looked at as possibly a first-round rookie quarterback. Uh, he went 176 to 241 last year, threw for 2,873 yards, 27 touchdowns to three interceptions, and had a 73% completion percentage. Braden Bennett had 74 catch car- for 636 yards and seven touchdowns, and Sam Pinckney had 27 catches for 311 yards and a tutty. I think what's going to be really interesting about this game is Army had a really good year last year, switching QBs, but that's not as big of a deal for them as it is other teams. Again, our Army rarely relies on their QB to do anything except be a point guard of the offense. Does not really throw the ball that often. I think that could be a really interesting matchup against the Coastal Carolina defense that is really good. Um, obviously, Grayson McCall is an elite quarterback. He's been looked at as a phenomenal QB that could go in the first round. Um... I'm really look, looking forward to see how he uh, does in the NFL, but I think he's going to win this game, and I think they're going to cover that two-point spread.